We're all together. Ready? Yeah. Not that far. Over here so we can see. So I make sure I do this right. Stay right in front. There you go. Do they got them all? Okay, my name is Tom. Ready? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a few questions. We're going to use God's commandments as the standard, not my opinion, so I'm not judging anybody. The Ninth Commandment says you're not to tell a lie. Have you ever told a lie? Yes. And now what do they call people who tell lies? What are they called? Sinners. Now what did he say? What? Liars. 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 Yeah. So what would you be called? A liar. liar. Yeah. So the Eighth Commandment says we're not to steal. Don't take anything that doesn't belong to you, regardless of its value, big or small. Have you ever done that? Yeah. You have? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And what do they call people who do that? Thieves. Very good. Third commandment says, not this, commit blasphemy. Big word, but it really means the swearing. Using oh, God's oh, name is a curse word. And again, have you ever done that with the God? <laughs> you know, I try not to, no. I didn't know if you tried not, but, but does I that mean you have? No. I'm a Christian. Yeah. It's He's called Mormon, and she's... She's a female. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you, what'd you say? I'm Christian. He's Christian, Mormon. Mormon, and, he's, and he's spiritual. He's spiritual. So that's cool. So he's yeah. been into swearing, which he shouldn't have done. Because not only I'm doing this, but the Bible itself, God, well, that you're supposed to worship, true. said, he will not hold that person guiltless yeah. who takes his name in vain. You well, just break that one yeah. commandment and you're in big trouble. Yeah, big trouble, stuff, right? The, yeah. The, Why don't they use uh, 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 like Saddam Hussein or Adolf Hitler to swear? Why do you want to take God's holy name and use it as a swear word? Think about that questions. for a second. Yeah, we got one more and we're done. Seventh commandment says you're not to commit adultery. But before you answer, Jesus said if you just look at another person, you lust after them, you know, the sexual That's desires, you've adultery. already committed adultery with them in your heart. Have you ever done that? Definitely. Huh? Everybody says yes. Yeah. <laughs> you said yeah. no? Not while I was married. I didn't bring up the word marriage. That's what people okay. try to use as the excuse. No, he doesn't How about when you were single? You don't Actually, mean just I, have, affairs, I have a point. Right? Yes. Just, when yeah. you're a married yeah. man, just you looking. make a commitment that yes, you make it a point in your head not to look at other women. But when you're a single man, yeah. and you were just walking around, right. you don't tread you all the time. Right. And you used to always tell yourself, I'm sorry, That's Lord. Not... I don't, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Hear me out. You always tell yourself, you always catch yourself and be like, oh, you know, sorry, Lord. You, always, you say that all throughout the day. Sorry, Lord, about this. Sorry, Lord. You're like, because you know it's wrong. You try to stay in touch. Yeah. All right. I got now, that. No, it's good what you're you saying. You the testosterone flowing around. It doesn't mean you ain't going to do it. And he knows that. No, I'm saying so it's good what so you It's not like an abomination. You said you knew it was wrong. Yeah, Hold on. Most people don't think it's wrong. That's oh, the point. They'll not, look what that's really why Jesus well, said. You he heard said. it said of old. You shall not commit adultery. That's when you're going to have sex out of marriage. He didn't go there. Yeah, he said, that's what you heard. But he said, but I say to you, if you just look at another person with lust. So he didn't say it's only for married people. It's for every man or woman. And here they, all three of you guys admitted you do it. And I didn't ask you how many times. Think about the compounding of staring. Come on, pornography yes. is the biggest thing out there today. And how many guys are, I don't care what they call themselves, they're all seem and to be, well, that's only normal. But Jesus said it's the same sin as you committing adultery. So I'm not going to ask you your name, it's because you got three people. Mine is Tom, but I'm sorry, in your own admission, you're a bunch of lying thieves, you're blasphemers <laughs> and adulterers at heart. Yay. It doesn't sound like good people, does We're it? Cool. I, does I it? think We're I can change beings. the whole thing. I will in a second. Two, Let me finish years. first. Right, Hold right. on. So now if that's true, so if some wacko jumps the curb right now, they're drunk, yeah. and they kill us, yeah. we're all dead. Yeah. So right now you're facing a holy God, and he's already seen, you've admitted to breaking four of his commandments again. I was yeah. very kind. I didn't ask you how many times have you lied, stolen, or sworn. I was very kind. Did he ever? Now, if God's looking at all that, how do you think God would find you based on his commandments? Remember, guilty. there's six more to go. Yeah, so would you be innocent or guilty in his eyes? Be honest. Okay, so uh, I would yes. say, what would you first say? time, shame on you, second time, shame on you. Whoa, 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 okay, so wait, you broke God's laws more than once. One time is making a mistake. But you did it more than it. one. But you didn't so learn. All right, how many times? How many lies you make, okay. how many lies you think you've told in your lifetime? So I believe there's also a difference between good, like black and how white many lies. Li answer white the lies is just how many good. lies do you think you've told in your lifetime? Probably thousand. Thousand. Alright, so that that erases your philosophy. First time is a mistake, second time it's on you. Go. You've done it a thousand times. Think about Still it. Doesn't mean I'm so not if a you're facing God, person, he's a judge, he's a righteous God, just like the judge at the county of Maricopa. What would the judge in Maricopa and the Lord do? Pays for our sins, so huh? we're all innocent. Yay! What a liar you are. Listen, he's, man, if he's really your friend, you got to help no, him out. Oh, I know, I know. Listen, what I know. they've just done. I got baptized two years ago, and I have a 
a bracelet I, on that I haven't taken off since. I'm not questioning what you are. So, I mean, then you shouldn't have said you were a good person. Well, we're all human beings. See, look, they'll use But if we're all human, then where are we all going? Hold on. Person, where are we all going? To hell or heaven? I don't believe in either. I said I'm See, a good person. Isn't that sad? I look, believe in energy and recreation. Let me. I'm sure I had to get the ball I'll show you how you get it. Can you understand this? What if you're wrong? I'm because you don't believe in heaven or hell. Spirit. If you're wrong, you're in big trouble. If we're right, look what can happen to you. Don't you get it? If we're wrong, it means nothing. Then everybody goes nowhere. But what if it's true that 2,000 years ago, that's why they're going to be celebrating it next week, the birth of Jesus Christ. Yes. How could you do that if not okay, believe in so it? It's in a history book. I don't subscribe to religion.